What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and I felt like doing an extra episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X today. I've got finished uh, grinding enemies around the Meehan High Road, and I thought I'd uh, have my cake and eat it too, I guess you would say. Never really understood that phrase, but. Anyways, let's take a quick look at uh, what things are looking like now. Um, well, first things first, there's a bunch of people walking up and down this road. Uh, I talked to all three of them. That yellow guy you see in the distance, uh, he gave me a new spear for Kamari, a hunter spear with uh, strength plus 10% on it. Blue guy, uh, there's a guy in blue that just walked over to the right there, you can see him there. He gave me a high potion. And there's a girl around here too who gave me an antidote. Um, ah. Out of my way. Here's a guy I can use as an example. Um, a part of grinding, of course, is learning new abilities. Uh, so Need a light? the biggest reason I want to grind here is because of that Fyra, but. One of the unfortunate downsides of grinding this early in the game is that you tend to have a lot of abilities that you can't really... You have a little bit of trouble learning because, well, you just don't have the ability spheres. So what I did is these guys here actually give you ability spheres when you kill them. So I would get get one of them low and save an overdrive for them and try and overkill them to get two ability spheres just to make the process a little bit easier. Also, these particular guys, the uh, dual horns, if you use Kamari's lancet on them, you will learn uh, fire thrower or flamethrower. Oh, fire breath. Okay, whatever. So let's see if we can kill him off with an overdrive or overkill rather. There, just like that. Um, I also tried to get uh, everyone into pretty much every battle, just to kind of level everyone off evenly. Uh, what else? Uh, there's bombs along this road. Uh, I might run into one a little bit later, so I can show you. But uh, they teach you self-destruct if you use Lancet on them. Also for Titus, I learned the warrior uh, self self destruct uh, overdrive mode I learned warrior overdrive mode so now I set him to that so whenever he attacks his overdrive meter will go up rather than whenever he takes damage if you were in stoic mode uh, I got a flame tongue a couple flame tongues for Titus I got a whole bunch of equipment really uh, but most of it's useless uh, let's take a quick look at the sphere grid. Kamari moved not too much around here. Titus, I forget exactly where he was, but he moved up over here. Uh, he now knows delay attack. Yuna, not a whole lot for her, uh, but she did learn Prey, which is a, a multi-target heal that's pretty useful. Also, um, I filled out Yuna's overdrive meter. Um, I didn't end up filling up Veil Force because, well, I realized there's not a whole lot of point to doing that. Uh, Orin, basically everything here is the fruit of that grinding session because he just starts off right here when you get him, and well, you just got him. Well, Lulu got the most work. She's all the way down here now. Um, She's at where you learn the Aura level 2 spells. Uh, but I just w I want Fyra for now. Waka made a bit of progress. Uh, he learned, he knew Science Attack, but he learned Aim. And he's not too far off learning Sleep Attack. Aim is kind of useless though. Uh, the one other thing is these two nodes here were empty for Titus. So I used the Strength Sphere that I got from winning the uh, Blitzball Tournament right there. I used my HP Sphere that I got on the one uh, dock in Luka. I used it right there. 
I'm going to come down here and use um, my Lux Sphere there as well. So, I think that's about it, other than the fact I got a whole bunch of gill now, too. So, now, the reason I did all that was, well, part of it was to prepare for this. Or at least this is why I um, filled up Yuna's overdrive meter. My name is Belgamine. You are? My name is Yuna. Ah, the High Summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. But you are still fresh on the road, are you not? This is a yes. another summoner. I might have a few things to teach you. Oh really? Hmm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours. A one on one match. Not to the death, of course. What do you say? We're fighting Aeons anyways. <laughs> I, I guess Aeons this. can die, but they Good. come back pretty Before easily. We begin, she heals you up, have been healed. or heals your you Aeons. Fight with your full strength. Come. And here we have a one-on-one -on -one Aeon duel. That would be Ifrit. And that is who Belgiamine summons. Show me how strong the link can forge with your Aeons. Now we want to use Grand Summon to summon Vilfor. And since we use Grand Summon, he comes down with a full overdrive meter. Let's take advantage of that. One shot. Overkill, too. If you don't happen to have an overdrive uh, meter that's full, um, Ifrit will basically switch back and forth between using melee attacks and using meteor strike. Uh, and you want to go back and forth between using blizzard and using um, your Aeon's guard ability by pressing over to the right. Uh, you want to use guard to block the meteor strike. And um, keep in mind that you cannot use sonic wings to delay Ifrit's attacks. You might defeat Sin before I am able to. I cannot. Huh? Or should I say I was not able to? You mean Luna? We'll she couldn't defeat Sin. That's supposed to me. Uh, let's see. Echo Ring. Nifty little item there. Silence Ward is always good for our casters. Anyways, let's continue on down the road. This is actually a pretty long area. Here we have, um, what's her name? Our Elma. Are with you. Got a people, a couple people, uh, crouching you on the side of the road. Summon her? Yes. My name is Yuna. I'm Callie. Nice to meet you, Callie. Lady Yuna, are you going to bring us the call? Yes. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're looking forward to another calm, my lady summoner. Aren't you people best. greedy? And good luck to your guardians as well. All seven billion of us. Bye bye. What's the calm? The calm is a time of peace. They don't even Times look funny at him anymore. They just sin. embrace the, the fact that he's completely clueless. Uh, huh? Sin dies and is reborn. I get it. 
I get it. You thought it was weird. Yuna's dad defeated Sin ten years ago, right? There goes that arm movement but again. Still here. Didn't make much sense till now. Wait, if it just comes back, don't say it isn't worth it. Because it is. Even for a little while, people can sleep in their beds without being afraid. That kind of time is worth anything. Don't say it isn't worth it. Your words that day, Yuna, I remember them well. Okay. During that little scene there, I caught a glimpse of this chest in the distance, so grab that remedy. And here we have, these are a couple of bombs. So, let's, let's deal with this dual horn first. Uh, get Lulu in here. Let's end this. Actually, I want to save the dual horn now that it's down low and cast fire on it again. Uh, the thing with these bombs is after you hit them three times, they will explode. You self-destruct. So you want to make sure to not use little attacks on them. So what I'm going to do is equip Titus with this ice brand. fire again on the dual horn. Hopefully that should get an overkill. Nice. Fortunately bombs aren't worth a whole lot of AP. They're worth a lot less than the Compared to the amount of effort they take to kill. Don't l kick that blitz ball quite yet. Talk to this dude and he'll give you a few softs. Now kick the blitz ball. This kid will come over running and... No. Never mind. This guy gives us a red ring. Red triangle. Oh. What do we got down here? Anything in here? I don't think so. You got anything for me? The big fight. I guess he means against sin. And in that battle, uh, Titus got the Overdrive Mode Slayer, which charges the Overdrive Meter whenever you kill an enemy. The catch is, it charges a lot. This guy gives us a few antidotes, and I think I'm going to call it here for this bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you next time.